everybody, happy Father's Day, and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, I figured that I would open up this hobby box of the brand new 2024 tops that the kiddos got me. So thank you. You're welcome. I hope that uh, I hope that there's something good here. That'd be pretty nice. So we're gonna see what's inside, and I could probably start putting the series two set together. Also, before we get into this box, I'd like to remind you, we've got an auction tonight, and we've got the Shoei Otani collection. Now, it looks like we still have this whole collection basically almost untouched. We sold these for like over an hour in our last auction. Tons of Otani rookies. There's even one of ones in here, and it, we're just scratching the surface. So we'll be back selling a bunch more of these Otani rookies tonight. And uh, there's just there's crazy stuff in there. We're talking like, like rainbows of, of it's just everything. There's private stock issue right there. There's just I don't even know what to say with this collection. It's insane. And we're gonna be selling it tonight and maybe also Thursday until we get it all sold. So check that out tonight, folks. And let's go ahead and get into the box of cards from Emmy. And Elsa and EJ and Olivia. All right, let's see what we've got here. 2024 Tops Baseball. Now, what if I get a really good card? Should I keep it? Should I sell it and buy Barbies for you? Oh, nice. There's a silver pack in there. That's good. I was worried that it wouldn't be in there. You're supposed to get one every box. All right, so we have our... Four packs. Hope everyone's having a very pleasant Father's Day today. It's currently, what time is it right now, Elsa? I don't know. It's currently like, I think, four o'clock. We, uh, my oldest daughter's off at basketball camp right now, Olivia. And we've just been kind of relaxing after church. Sophia made a really nice home-cooked lunch for all of us. Do you like it, Elsa? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The rice and chicken together. The rice and chicken together, both. It was really good. Do you think I should, should I like throw a clip of her cooking in here? I don't know. It's oh, here we go. Oh no! Oh no! 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 It's Austin Riley. Do you want to see? Yeah. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's uh, it is kind of cool. Which one of you? You know what? Which one of you wants this card? This is the the hit of the box. This is the best card we're gonna end up finding. Who wants it? Me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you a trivia question, and whoever gets it right gets the card. What team does this guy play on? What team? What team? The base. Yep, you win this one. Elsa has it, the Braves. I can read. Emmy can read. She's just a couple that's grades behind you. Good. She I mean, can read. That's in, that, that was a tough one, I guess, because that's in script. So, folks, I hate it when they do that to us because there's a Heston Kerstad rookie card. I'll put that one aside. That means there's no autograph in this box. So we have to really cross our fingers and hope that this box is going to give us a printing plate, or maybe a home field advantage case hit, maybe something is, fantastic. Let's see what we've got in this next one. We have zero numbered cards so far. I think we might have another one. Emmy's trying to get into the... What are you trying to do here, Emmy? Nothing. Emmy's trying to get into the cabinet. Because she wants me to open something up. I don't know what it is. The I'm on, is on a kitchen island right now. And she's looking for something. Yeah. She wants me to... So I think she kind of wants me to find something good. And hopefully we still have that opportunity. Here's a Brian Abreu. Victor Robles. Got an all-star card here of Big Mac, Mark McGuire. And Brandon Fodd is there as well. Elsa, what are you going to do with your card? Are you going to put it in your collection? I got to see if I can find one for Emilu now. Emilu, do you want to get a pirate? Yeah. All right. 
open this pack. Did you say you dare me to? Yeah. You're you're daring me. I have a random fat pack laying around. <laughs> you're daring me to open that pack. Mm -hmm. It's like an eight dollar pack, Emmy. I forget what I was. Why do I even have that? There's a numbered card. So Emmy, we get a numbered card. Here's why, like, if I'm doing the top five, this is what I've got so far. David Fry and Heston Kerstad in terms of, uh, I guess, value. Here we go with this next one. There is still hope. There is still hope here because we still have that purple pack. They call it a silver pack because when they first started putting these into the packs or issuing these, they were silver, and the name kind of stuck. Sometimes I get that question in the comments. Why do you call that a silver pack when it's clearly purple? Why don't you call it a purple pack? Well, that's why. Everyone calls it a silver pack because that's how they started out when they first started coming around and making those mojo cards. It was all silver packs. Bryce Harper right there. We're going to get a nice selection of the set that we can put together here. Mason Wynn. So this is like a top five rookie. He's like probably fifth. That's not too bad. Getting a couple rookies here. And we got the number one rookie. We got the Yamamoto right there. Very nice. That's probably worth a couple he bucks. Wants Yamamoto. Likes you. He what? Is. Yamamoto he likes me? <laughs> I don't even think he knows. I don't think he knows who I am. Well, it's just like a movie. Oh, some sort of movie? Is Yamamoto like a movie star no. that I don't know about? No. Hey, look at this. Ellie De La Cruz home run <laughs> challenge card. There we go. We can... We can select a game where we think he's going to hit a home run. And if he does, then we win. So we'll have to do that. We win. A, we could win a trip to the, I think, the say All-Star Game or Home Run Derby. At the very least, if he hits a home run, we win a free card. So that's pretty nice. It's Clayton Kershaw. So, so far, the Ellie De La Cruz is probably my favorite card in this opening, this box. I know what Elsa's favorite card is. It's the Austin Riley Silver Slugger box hit. Hey, Emmy, I got to look for a Pirates card for you. <laughs> Unless you want to get Ellie De La Cruz and you want to pick a date when you think he's going to hit a home run. You want that one? Or would you rather have a Pirate? I'm not getting any Pirates. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have an upside-down card here. Bobby Witt Jr., fantasy favorite. It might be numbered. It is numbered to 299 fantasy favorites. So that is our second numbered card from the box. I've got to pay close attention now because I usually just brush by the Pirates pretty quickly. I'd like to find you an Andrew McCutcheon. He's in this. Padres again. There you go. Leaver Pagaro. Sophia was sorting cards today and she, she laughed when she saw this picture. She said, if this was my card, I would be mad. She's like, they did him dirty because it looks like his knee is like buckling in half and he's, being, <laughs> he's like getting hurt. So, Emilou, here's your card. You have a layover with Piguero. Maybe you can get him to sign it when he comes up. To, I think he's at triple A right now in the minors, but he'll be back. He's, uh, he's got some potential. Another pirate, Marco Gonzalez. There's Jordan Lawler rookie card. Not too bad. And Kyle Nicholas, him. he's around. You want Kyle Nicholas too? Yeah. You want Edward Olivares hey. too? Oh, hey, I want a pirate. What? We got Luis Garcia right there. <laughs> Looks. Oh no, we're all out of pirates cards, Elsa. Maybe we'll get one from the Mojo Pack. Yeah. So we have the silver pack right here. Which one did you give Elsa? No, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, you don't want that one? <laughs> Who is it? Oh, uh, he's actually the best one, Elsa. Actually, now you want it. He's got the most upside. He's still young. Look at these shiny cards. Yeah, because they're silver. That's what yeah, this, in the silver pack, this is called the Mojo Design. We've got Carlos Correa right there, Marcus Semien, Edgar Martinez, and Bryce Harper. I like the Bryce Harper. So, unfortunately, the box, we didn't get anything crazy, but we did get this, which we can maybe turn into something. Who knows? Maybe we'll win a trip to the 2025 Home Run Derby. You just got to scratch that code off and type it in on the computer. So thanks for the box, girls. Should I take should I take you up on your little dare of doing this or no? Yeah, I really want to see it. <laughs> you know what? Let's do something else. How about this? Let's do a contest. So what should we do here? Let's do let's do a let's do a let's do a little pack attack with you two. How about that? You want to do a pack attack? 
Pack attack. pack attack is a game. Why don't we use? I don't know why I even have these here. I think these you came. I think these came in um, 2023 Bowman. These came in like a whatnot purchase or something. I think they're cold packs. So what we'll do is whoever finds the pirate wins this fat pack. So Elsa, which pack do you want? You, you can pick first. Uh, this one or this one? This one. Okay, so Emmy, you get this one. Let's open Elsa's first. Whoever gets the pirate wins any pirate will do let's see that's not a pirate you know what team that is yeah i don't know oh come on it's right there you can read cursive right what's that say oh, canadas. the canadas <laughs> the cardinals there's the red Sox. dodgers elsa you're not it's not looking good for you how about if n neither of you finds a pirate? Hey, Jason Dominguez. Not too bad. Here, you can have all these cards. Jason Dominguez is a good card. Here's Emmy Lou's pack. We got it. We should, we should try like a fat pack or a uh, a pack attack. You got some Cubs, Emmy. Cubs. You got Jordan Alvarez. No pirate for you yet. Trey yeah. Sweeney. Carlos Jorge. Jackson Choya. That's a good one, Emmy. It's a chrome, and you get a lunar glow. So here, you can have all those. All right, so neither of you won that. I figured that would be fun to try just because I like opening packs. And also, <laughs> also since you're staring at the packs all interested, I figured we might as well do that Whoa. and continue this out, you know, since you're interested. Cool. Cool uh-oh, guys. What? Do we, I think we have a first pitch card here. Emmy, you dared me to open this, mm -hmm. and we might have a first pitch Webb and Yama or CJ Stroud Auto here. These fat packs, I open. Hey, Andrew McCutcheon, the Pirates' most famous player. Ooh. Who wants this one? Me. Emmy said me first. What? Here you go. She did. There's the other pipe. Maybe there'll be another pipe. Pete Crow Armstrong. Padres. Pete Crow Armstrong's a good rookie. And so far, I, we might have the Webb and Yama card. Oh, Emmy, you're so nice. She saw Elsa was sad, and she just gave him a cut to, to Elsa. Emmy is such a sweetheart. Is that Granky? What did you say? What did you say to her? I didn't say She gave you the McCutcheon, so what did you say? Thank you. You're welcome. I just wanted to make a sad letter. She doesn't want her sister to be sad. All right, here, here, this is where it gets serious. Let's get serious here. If we have the Web and Yama, and it's autographed, it's going to be worth thousands of dollars. And then if it is worth thousands of dollars and we have it, I think what we'll have to do is probably buy you guys some Barbie dolls. Yeah. Because yeah. that's really all you guys play. You've been playing Barbie dolls since we got back from church. And yeah. then I tried to play and you're like, you're playing wrong. How can you well, let me play when I tried to make the uh, the, the Barbie doll? <laughs> <laughs> because we're playing with the doggies. Uh-oh. Okay. We're playing with the Barbie doggies. I guess uh, I guess I don't know your your style. <coughs> Mallory Swanson is the first pitch. So this girl is a famous soccer star. Which one of you wants the soccer star me, card? Me, Elsa me. said it first. Aww. There you go. There's Garrett Cole. <laughs> yeah, you could. She just said, "How about we share it? You guys share a room. You can share it." Derek Jeter, and then here's the stars of MLB. You can both stars of MLB. You can have these. I. Okay. I, I don't really mind those, so you can have those. So there you have it. It's Father's Day. So the plan here now is they're trading cards. This is great. They're, they're, they're looking at the cards, trading them. Very nice. Got lots of cards. You got lots of We, we got to get you a box to put those in. Here. <laughs> here, you can both have one of these. Here's an 800-count box. Start your collections. Okay. Here you go. One for you, one for you. Now, it's really important because I didn't learn this until I was older. You want to keep your cards in good shape. So you, you don't want them to get, like, creased or wrinkled, and you want to keep the corner sharp because that's how they're worth a lot of value. When I was your age, I didn't know that. And a lot of the cards from when I was nine, and, like, Emmy, you're even younger. I died. You're nine. Emmy's about to be seven, but I didn't know the uh, – I didn't know to keep the cards – in good shape, so a lot of my cards are ruined because I don't keep them in shape. So if you get a good card, you can always protect it. 
with these. These are called sleeves and top loaders. You guys want some of these? Yeah. Okay. Like how many do you can take we those. Do Just take your favorite cards and put them there, and then that keeps them from getting bent. But they're heading upstairs to the room to go and, uh, I guess, look at their cards. I'm going to go up and join them. I hope you guys have had a great Father's Day, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the evening. We'll be back sometime tonight. We're going to go over to my parents now and have dinner, and then we're going to come back. And uh, we're going to be auctioning off the, all the Shohei Otanis. So check that out live here on YouTube tonight. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see all of you later. Good night, everybody.